Yeah, for us, uh, when you sponsor something like that, you have to find the link because otherwise you like wallpaper. So, uh, what for us a strong link is that uh, we create cars um, that we believe create excitement for for our consumers. So, uh, and if you link that to what soccer players do or teams do, I think it's very similar. I mean, they train and practice every single day, every single week, uh, to create excitement for for the fans. So. Uh, we then uh, used in, in, in the marketing that we uh, use, we say uh, engineers of excitement. So we, we engineers and we engineer a great car that creates excitement. Uh, but I think soccer teams and players, they sort of engineer their game and get better. So we try to link it at the level of excitement and it works well for us. The big thing uh, for us is to, to activate it uh, well and to activate it globally. Uh, because the power of Champions League is uh, that it, it, it is, is genuinely global. Uh, there's as many fans outside of Europe as in Europe. Uh, but it also means that we now have 60 countries that uh, are very, very keen to activate. Uh, so our biggest uh, challenge is to set up the, uh, the infrastructure, the capability to work with all of these markets and, and to maximize it everywhere. So I don't see that it's a challenge, but it's a positive challenge. So it's a massive opportunity. There's a couple of elements. There's a pure business element to it as well. I mean, we invest a certain amount of money. We want to have a certain amount of return, and especially to our executives. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and uh, we have to constantly prove that these things uh, work. And on the other side, we have to activate to make sure we create the momentum. We get more and more people excited, and we get we get better at it. Because also, uh, we shouldn't underestimate. These are not one-off things. These are things that you need to build over a period of time. So. A big part of it is our agencies and our marketing people to, to better understand how you can play with it, how far you can push it, what can you do, what can you create. Um, so it's, it's an ongoing process. So Nissan United is, uh, is, um, is coming from, I think, the need to start integrating more and more. The, the, the marketing communications world has, has gone through a long period of called specialization. We've had many agencies and companies coming up, especially I think the, the, the big change that digital abroad and social abroad uh, created that. But what, we, what we've now created is a world where uh, we, we are rather disintegrated between the different channels of communications, uh, but also in, in our companies a bit specific in, in terms of global. So we, we tend to be, uh, we, we were very local, uh, and uh, very uh, spread out, uh, disintegrated. So Nissan United is, is, a, is a pressure on the agency world uh, to bring back what I believe they should be doing, which is to be a communication specialist. And to me, it doesn't matter whether it's a TV commercial or a social campaign or a sponsorship or a billboard. I don't care. It is all about reaching that customer. So it's pressure on them uh, to, to integrate that. Uh, and it is pressure on, uh, on us um, to, to get more consistent uh, between the various things that we do and more consistent uh, between the various markets in the world.